I had to put some lip gloss on because I know when I talk, it's like, it gets a bit much. Okay, anyway, so you guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, things that I feel like a lot of us don't talk about, but every one of us is going through it and it's totally normal. And I seem to be completely comfortable with talking about things that are awkward and uncomfortable and sometimes make people cringe and it just doesn't bother me because I don't really care. And I feel like... We all need to build a bridge and get over some stuff. So I'm going to talk to you guys about your body changing as you become a mom or get pregnant or whatever. Um, and how it's completely normal and how every single one of us is probably going through this. You're not you're not by yourself. And I need you, before you continue watching this, this video, I need you to get to a place where you accept yourself wholeheartedly for who you are, how you are beautifully perfectly made and you know there were no mistakes in creating you everything about you is perfect if there are things that you don't like you're more than welcome to change them it's your body do whatever you want with it okay but if you can't change them you gotta learn to love them okay even if you're gonna spend the rest of your life trying to love it you gotta learn to love it so the reason i'm making this a video is because i feel like especially in what i do I have these conversations with so many people every single day where we talk about, you know, like, for example, you go on my Instagram and it looks like I'm like this fit person and it's like, I have like excess skin, okay? I would show you guys right now, but I can't remember what I'm wearing underneath this, so we're not going to do that. But I have excess skin, okay? I have stretch marks, okay? My stomach is wrinkly, like, I have cellulite on my butt and my legs, like, I have, like, you know, jiggly arms as defined as they may look. I have stretch marks from here to here. I have raisins for boobs, like, there's all these things. So it's like, I never want, like, my thing is I want to be as real and authentic with you guys because I never want someone to look at my pictures or me and be like, Oh my gosh, you know, like it's like this unrealistic, unattainable goal, which it, honey, no, <laughs> that's not it. Okay. <laughs> because I've done that. I've gone on other people's Instagram accounts and other, you know, content creators. And I've been like, oh my gosh, like, oh, uh, you know, like drooling over it and like wanting it. And it's like, there are so many people out there who have these bodies and these, these, goals that are just not realistic because there could have been so much work done behind it that you just don't know so i'm gonna be straight up i haven't gotten any surgery and i'm not knocking anyone who's gotten surgery but it's just not one of my i guess it's just not something that i want to do maybe not right now who knows in the future it might change right but at this moment i'm just working out, eating healthy, just trying to get the best results I can just as I am. And I want to share this journey with other women and other moms because I want them to know that whatever it is they're going through, that it is normal. Because I feel like a lot of us, like when we see other, for example, you see other like influencers or content creators on like other social media outlets and you see them with like all these kids, but yet they've got like a six pack of abs and like, you know just a nice as round as a booty like toned arms and just you're like oh my gosh how'd you do it and like sometimes we see these people but we don't know how they got there there isn't like really like a story to follow and like you know um see yourself through them which i feel like is really hard sometimes to see yourself through another person and to see what's possible for you because you can relate to them so I want to share my journey because I feel like I was something that, like to me personally, I felt like I wasn't seeing someone who was like me, who went through the changes that I went through. So for example, I, um, I had Gabby when I was 17, right? So I felt like I was already really young and my body just went through like a rapid change. It went from like, you know, being in high school and like working out at lunch and like having like, I, I thought I had like a really nice body in my mind. I don't know, maybe to other people it wasn't their ideal body. I don't know. But to me, I was like, you got it, girl. Like, that's what I thought. And I was like, to me, I felt like I had it all together, like everything. And then I went from feeling confident and looking good and being this like young girl, teen girl, to all of a sudden I'm carrying around a big belly and my stomach had stretched quite rapidly because I didn't show for a couple months and then all of a sudden it just like 
it felt like it doubled in size you know i went from like i think i was like 130 pounds or something like that to like almost 200 pounds okay you guys and you know i just i blew up <laughs> I blew up, but I was happy. I was growing this baby inside of me, trying to keep her healthy in her little home and like feeding myself. Y'all, I was not missing a meal. I was eating good. I was feeding my baby and I was living my best life. And you know what? I wasn't concerned about what I was going to look like after having her because at that moment, it didn't occur to me that I was going to be worried about what happens afterwards. Like, this is my first time having a kid. You don't think about all this stuff that ends up happening. <laughs> I feel like you just get, I don't know what happened here. <laughs> I feel like you just, you're just thinking currently about growing that little human to the best of your ability and making sure that they're healthy and strong and beautiful and happy, you know? And so during my pregnancy, I was just concerned about taking care of, that baby and myself and and feeding myself and not starving myself and not you know being worried about what's yet to come so anyways my body grew rapidly so i ended up having like a lot of stretch marks but before i even got pregnant i had stretch marks i had stretch marks on my bum my legs um i had like a couple here a couple here but like very very minimal but i knew i had stretch marks so it wasn't like new to me that there was stretch marks but it was like amplified it was like times 20 by 100 <laughs> like i had stretch marks galore like i had stretch marks for everybody you get a stretch marks you get a stretch mark you all get stretch marks like that's how much that's how many stretch marks i have all over my body right now everywhere and so after i had her i was like oh my goodness because i gave birth and i still look like i didn't i was like at what point does this go away anywho you know my body went through changes you guys i gained weight lost weight gained weight lost weight regardless of everything that my body went through i just like i think that it wasn't even what my body was going through it was i was unhappy i was unhappy with you know you go from like looking a certain way and knowing how to deal with that to all of a sudden the complete opposite and not knowing how to deal with it you know not only did i become a mom so quickly but i also changed my body so quickly so i was going through um you know i had no confidence i was very insecure just really sad really depressed really miserable and so i think it was like two years after i had gabriella i lost all this weight you guys so i got really skinny to the point where it was like right because you go from like being really big to really skinny so my stomach like just got so wrinkly you guys it was like but it was just so wrinkly and then it just like you know like before i before it even was wrinkly it used to like flap over my like over my clothes like it just like it was like like just rolled over things like it was like if you wanted to make chapati like you could use my stomach but it was like it just there was rolls and then it would roll over my panties and let me tell you guys a little secret okay for those of you who still have a stomach that rolls so if i was going out and wanted to look cute i would like put i would wear like lace is it is it called lace silk i would wear like silk panties um i had this like special brand that i would buy in packages because it was so perfect <laughs> I'm giving you guys the tea. Make sure you're taking notes. So I would get these like silk panties, um, right? Because the lines weren't showing as much. Because when you have like extra everything, like things just dip into your skin. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if you guys have experienced this. Let me know. Let me know below if this is something you've gone through where you go to put on your panties and your body just like they just cut you in half. <laughs> so then you have like the upper portion and the lower portion. I don't know if this is. Yeah, but that's what I went through. So I would, so then I would get the silk ones because they just like laid on top of my fat. You know what I mean? They laid on top of the saggy skin and the saggy stomach because, um, yeah, I needed it to do that. And then on top of that, I would get like um, the Spanx. What it Spanx? Spandex? Those ones. I would get those, and I would be like, you know, and then like, pop. <laughs> And I would squish everything back in there and be like, all right, at least so I can look like one, one whole person, not a couple of us. 
So it'd be like one. And then it'd be like, I'd be like snatched. You know what I mean? For that time. Like, of course I wasn't breathing half the time when I was out. But who needs to breathe when you can look cute? So I would wear those um, to, to just hold all my fat in. And girl, sometimes, sometimes when that breath needed to come out, like it would just like roll. And then I would have this part just like, like right there. It'd be like, anywho, I don't know why I'm going so deep into this. <laughs> and then I just like gained so much weight that it was just like, the Spanx can't hold me. The silk panties are starting to squish me. Like they're starting going to the dips. And like I just gained a lot of weight when I was going through my depression, anxiety, like drinking, like partying, like just wild. I gained so much weight. And anyways, I got to a point where I was like really unhappy. If you've watched my other stories, you know what I'm talking about. I got to a point where I was just like really unhappy with my body as a whole. And um, I started working out, started eating healthy, following, you know, my programs that I, I do now. And I started to see the changes in my body. Prior to that, you guys, I was exercising. It wasn't consistent. So I was still the yo-yo, the gaining the weight, losing the weight. And sometimes I, I would do cardio so much, you guys, that I would just drop all the weight and just be so skinny, have no curves, curves, nothing. And that even too, I was still unhappy. Like, yeah, super skinny, but still unhappy. Because there was like, I wasn't confident. I wasn't happy. I didn't feel like myself, if that makes sense. And so, you know, between the losing the weight, the gaining the weight, the losing the weight, I had all this excess skin, all this extra stomach that just wouldn't go away. And I thought for a fact, 150% that I was going to need to go to, um, that I was going to need to get a tummy tuck because I'm like, it's excess skin. Like it needs to go. Like I couldn't afford a surgery and it wasn't like at the top of my priority. Like I got debt to pay off and a child to take care of. Like I'm going to do that first and then maybe go get surgery. I don't know. But it wasn't at the top of my priority. So I'm like, hey, what can I do now that's going to like at least help me feel good? And then, you know, I can save up enough to go get the surgery. And then at the same time, I was like, I wasn't sure if I'm going to have more kids. I don't want to like go spend all this money on like tightening everything and then coming back and just like exploding again, you know, because that's what pregnancy does. So I was like, I wasn't too sure. It wasn't like a, dis it wasn't like a definite idea. So I was like, hey, what can I do that's going to help me now? So mind you guys, still surgery in the back of my mind. So I start working out, I start exercising, I start eating healthy, I start following these amazing programs. And fast forward to now, I don't think I need surgery, you guys. Like from what I see and how I feel about my body, I don't think I need surgery. So the reason I'm sharing this story is because I feel like I've had people say things to me about how my stomach looks and how it doesn't look the same and like da 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 and like try to make me feel about it. But I'm over here like, yes, like I thought I needed to get surgery and I don't. Like it's getting toned. It's getting, it's, you know, it's tightening. It's like, like it's not back to what it used to be, but it's so much further along than what it used to be. Okay, then when it used to roll over my panties and all over everything I used to wear, it's so much further than that. I can wear a uh, one whole dress and I look like there's nothing rolling out like anything like that. So the reason I'm sharing this is because I want any other moms or any other women out there who have gone through like a rapid weight loss, weight gain, or you've, you know, gotten pregnant, you had a baby or whatever it is, I want you to know that everything your body is going through is completely normal. And I want you to learn to love yourself because that is something I wish I did more of in the past because I could have enjoyed every step of my journey. But I, I spent I spent so much time hating myself that I couldn't even embrace what my body was able to do. You know, my body kept me through a lot, okay? A lot of stuff. Like, I was not good to my body. I'm even surprised my body's being good to me now because I had put it through so much and yet it still kept me. It still loved me. It still, you know, it, it brought a whole human into this world. Like, my daughter, you guys have seen her. She's, like, perfect. Like, she's so cute. And you know has no issues like just i was able to like produce an entire human and like keep her and protect her and then bring her into this world and my body did that you know what i mean and then it's like snatched now it's like back it's like girl don't worry i got you you know <laughs> so the reason i'm sharing this is just have patience you guys with your body if you are going through a struggle with your body right now and you feel like oh my gosh, I just want to like cut this part off and cut that part off and like you hate it so much. I want you to find 
some love for yourself. I want you to know that it's normal. I want you to know that bodies change, okay? You guys, I have raisins now. These are not even, I don't even consider these boobs anymore, but I still love them because they fed my child. Like, like there's just so much you could love about yourself if you choose to look at it for what it is. Um, and don't compare yourself to other people because comparison is the killer of joy you guys <laughs> things that could have made you happy as soon as you see somebody else you'd be like well i guess i ain't got it like that like you just get so down about yourself so i need you to be about you i need you to learn to love yourself to love everything about you all of your curves okay whether you are thickums or not okay if you're skinny mini or like you know bb i don't even know <laughs> like <laughs> whatever it is that you have I want you to love it okay I want you to love your body and I want you to know that you are not in this by yourself there are so many people out there who feel exactly what you're feeling um, and that we have the abilities to change things about us that we don't like so that we can like them but we also have to learn to accept the things that we can't change um, so we that, so that we can love ourselves and um, don't let anyone tell you otherwise okay I feel like in this industry that I'm in now, if I let what people say to me affect me, you guys, I would be so miserable because I have people telling me all kinds of things. Delete your photos. Don't put that out there. This doesn't look good. Is that what it really looks like? Oh my gosh, your stretch marks. Like there's just so much that people say and I'm like, honey, like this is the reality. <laughs> So I want anyone out there who's ever had, you know, any insecurities about these things that we're in this together. It's okay. Okay. We are remarkable human beings. Our bodies are amazing. We should love every inch of it. Okay. And if you don't quite love it yet, that's okay too. Because my stretch marks, I used to hate them. And then I found out about my wrinkly stomach and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna put you guys on hold. Like this one here, this is what I don't like right now. And then it's been a couple years now and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I actually think this is really cute. Like my stomach is cute. It has a little story, you know, it's been like been through a couple things. <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm fully in love with it, but I don't hate it anymore, okay? Slowly, you learn to accept yourself. You learn to love yourself and you learn to sometimes accept it and move on and like on to other things, you know? And as we age, things are gonna sag and drop and roll and pop. <laughs> I hope nothing pops, but things are going to happen. Your body's always changing, okay? And that's okay. And sometimes it's for the best. Sometimes your body changes in an amazing way. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like since I started taking care of my health, you guys, everyone's like, you look so young. And I'm like, really? Because in a couple of years, it's going to come in handy when I'm like older. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I wanted to make this video because I love you guys and I want you guys to know the real truth saggy not saggy stretch marks wrinkly whatever we're we are all beautiful god made no mistakes with us so i hope this video brought you some value if you've been watching up until this point make sure that you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel you guys share this video okay you guys i want to grow this i want to grow this channel and i want to like really make it a place where people can come and like find value and joy and feel normal okay in this society where we share so many things that aren't really real and i just want to be that place so if you found value here please share this video it will make my video it will make my channel grow um like and please subscribe okay you guys i love you all so much and if there's anything that you want me to talk about write it down below that's the only way i'm gonna know okay love you